Big Two News at 5. I'm Ryan Walsh. Monday, thousands of runners will return to the Boston Marathon course. As 22 News reporter Laura Hutchinson shows us, Marathon Day has always meant a lot to the runners, but it's taking on a whole new meaning this year. Excitement in the air as runners make their way into Boston this weekend for Marathon Monday. And as they do, they're picking up their race day essentials. I actually picked up mine today, my bib number and my shirt here, along with thousands of others. And while there is excitement, I should note there is a bit of a solemn feeling in the air as well, as we all remember why we signed up to run this race in the first place. For many new runners this year, taking on the marathon for the first time, you know, many of us, myself included, running in support of the victims last year. And many returning runners uh, running to make a point personal to themselves. For example, I spoke with a man, Bill Wells from Wilbraham, who's running to finish what he started last year. When bombs exploded near the finish line of the Boston Marathon, Wilbraham's Bill Wells was nearing the end of his race. He admits he got lucky. An injury had slowed him down. If I had been in shape, and if I had just done what I have typically done for so many other marathons, I would have been right at, right at the finish line during the explosion. Wells is one of the thousands of runners who didn't finish the race that day and walked away feeling both lucky and devastated at what could have been. Even more so after he realized his family, who were waiting near the finish line, were okay. Well, we just really dodged a big, big bullet right there. We just, we just caught a break, and that took me 10 days to shake. Even though he successfully completed several marathons, Wells says not finishing Boston and the circumstances surrounding that day didn't sit well with him, so he decided to do something about it. He took a day off from work and ran his own marathon closer to home. It was just my way of fighting back a little bit. That, okay, he, he, um, we were stopped once, but uh, today no one's going to stop me from, from finishing this marathon. It was just my little way of fighting back. This year, thousands of people, Wells included, will get back into the race and finish what they started. They'll be running for themselves and those who lost their lives. My guess is I'm going to be fine during the marathon, but it's going to be afterwards. That's uh, going to be interesting. They'll be running to celebrate Patriots Day in Massachusetts as they have every year for 118 years. And those runners are just starting to make their way into Boston for the long weekend. Today was actually the first day that runners could come in and start picking up their bib numbers and their shirts and all their race day essentials. I went and got mine with thousands of others. And on 22 News at 530 tonight, we'll give you an inside look at the convention center where all the runners are gathering this weekend, preparing. And on 22 News at 6 o'clock tonight, I'll also bring you an inspiring story of a woman from Longmeadow who was injured at the Boston Marathon last year. We'll check in and see how she's doing. So we have a lot coming to you from Boston tonight. Reporting live from the Boston Common, I'm Laura Hutchinson for 22 News.